Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Snolly. Welcome to a new vlog. And if you guys didn't watch the last video, you wouldn't know that I got new teeth. I got veneers and these are only the temporary so I still have to get my finals and it's literally been not even 24 hours with these in so like I'm still learning how to talk with them and they still feel really tight but holy crap holy crap like I haven't actually vlogged since I have been numb and they look really good I've just been looking in my iPhone camera and like that's definitely like a different view and I wasn't so sure but like in this camera it looks really good oh my god this is insane anyways i will be having like a little bit of a lisp i feel like because like i said i'm still learning really how to talk in them but i wanted to vlog these last few days with ryan if you guys didn't watch the vlog wait the two videos before this you also wouldn't know that ryan is going to go live at home for six months so literally this friday starts my journey of living alone which i've never ever ever done in my life terrifies me i'm like a little bit excited to see what it's like and i'm excited to bring you guys along with me in this journey and this process um and so yeah that's literally starting on friday i think he's gonna leave like during the day or the morning or something like that this morning we're gonna go check out a new coffee shop i think it's on south first and it's called marabou i've been seeing a lot about it it's pretty new though um so i'm planning on getting a matcha or chai you guys already know <laughs> i don't really drink coffee unless it's like very creamy milky like literally this much coffee and like this much creamer but yeah i'm definitely feeling like a matcha or chai but with my teeth since they're the temporaries like i have to be careful with eating stuff um because it can like chip really easily i guess these are like plastic but the real veneers are going to be porcelain so i won't have to really worry about that and i have to think about like things that are going to stain them so like they said no curry marinara sauce like random things that i would have never really thought so i really have to be like conscious about what i'm going to be eating um and i get my final september 8th and it's currently august 16th i believe so you still got a lot of time for it to be in my mouth <laughs> and i don't want to stain them i don't want to chip them while they're in my mouth so we're gonna try our very best to be very careful i'm wearing this dress from shopo i definitely should have steamed it because there's a lot of wrinkles but Mm, I don't really want to. I'm like kind of feeling lazy today and I just paired it with these like white platform vans. I actually want to look at Showpost site later today because I feel like whenever I shop there for my trip to Italy, they have like some really unique pieces that I was like kind of shook at and their stuff is like definitely more on the affordable side. I wouldn't say like Forever 21 cheap, but like definitely not like hundreds of dollars. Well, actually, obviously, if you get more than one thing, then maybe. Like, I think this dress was around $50, which I feel like if this dress was on Revolve, it'd be like 200 I was leaving the house and I was like, wait, I literally don't have a car because it's still in the shop. We um, took it in on Monday and I just called them and they said they just got done with the headlights and they installed everything. So I think after my little matcha date, I'm gonna go pick up my car I hate that I spend so much money on like stuff on my car. It feels like every other two months I'm spending so much money. But I am very, very lucky because I don't have a car payment on it. Um, so I'm trying to drive it until it's literally dead. Hey vlog. <laughs> Like home, it's like home decor, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Thank you. <gasps> oh my, shut up. This looks like like a Dallas store or something. Yeah, I know, right? Holy crap. I love it. It's so cute. I got matcha with like honey lavender in it. And I got a mint tea and it is so freaking good. Do you so not good. add any sugar in it? No, I like tea just like so raw. Like I like wow. things that taste like almost dirt. I wow, like so I wish yeah. I did. That yeah. would be amazing. So <laughs> Mine tastes very like unique. Like the lavender isn't like other lavender syrups. Like they literally put lavender 
Yeah, what's it called? Like seeds real. or like flower, right? like flowers, yeah. like on top. It was so cute. It was so, cute. so it's very like an not even an incense taste, but we were like, it literally tastes like the store yeah. looks and smells yeah, like exactly very like earthy tasting, but pretty good. And I just think it's convenient how the check engine light was on. My oil, my oil, what? Check engine light, it's not your oil change light. Okay, well, <laughs> It said I needed a freaking oil change. Check engine light. What is that then? Check engine light, it's like really bad. Well, I feel like an oil change is really bad too. Anyway, so yeah, that light was on. And conveniently, they recommended me to get one. Um, or like an oil change in my recommended. Like they just checked everything and there was so much that I needed to get done. I came home and changed and then we decided we wanted hand rolls from Yoroko in Springdale General. These are so good. Ryan and I decided to come downstairs and work a little bit. I feel like I never really use the amenities and I need to. <laughs> yeah, we should play pool after. That can be our reward for getting stuff done. I definitely need to take advantage of our amenities and work just outside of my apartment more often because like I feel like I got a good amount done and it just like switched up the scenery for me. I was wanting to come up here so bad to take another like pain medication because my teeth hurt so much. <laughs> they really do hurt, they really do. I'm trying to like tell myself it doesn't hurt but they're very uncomfortable right now. And basically it feels like putting in a new Invisalign tray but honestly worse because you can low-key take the Invisalign tray out when it gets like too much you know and like you get used to it a lot quicker i feel like i thought i would have gotten used to it by now but i'm pretty sure i remember my doctor saying that it would be kind of like tight for a couple of weeks and the invisalign tray like maybe takes up to two days max but like usually it's just like you put it in overnight and then you're fine but like 24 hours but oh my god it hurts, it's tight, it hurts. <laughs> At least like in my um, veneers vlog, I told you guys that the whiten the bottom of my teeth hurt so bad because it got whitened and it was so sensitive. At least that's not hurting anymore because that was bad. I was like, I cannot do anything. I need to like sleep it off. Like it was bad. But now it's just so tight and just like uncomfortable and stuff and it doesn't make eating enjoyable either honestly <laughs> so that was kind of sad eating my little hand rolls but i actually bought a new lens and i thought i wouldn't unpackage it for you guys and maybe do like a little tester i have a shoot tonight and i was really really hoping it would get here in time so i got very lucky i am shooting one of my friend's engagement photos and she has like this really cool idea to do like flash night photos and I don't really use my flash all that much even though I like got like a nicer one and of course right when I got my nicer one I never really got hired for like night events or anything like that but it's gonna be fun to play with that I'm gonna bring my old flash just in case that one gives me some trouble but here's the new lens I finally got an 85 millimeter and it is a 1.4 so it's a prime lens not a zoom lens it's a fixed lens. I chose Sigma because I was looking up some reviews on like a Sigma versus a Sony. And I feel like I liked the coloring on a Sigma a lot more and it was cheaper. So I was like, no brainer. I think like one of my first lenses was a Sigma, like the YouTuber lens. I'm pretty sure it was a Sigma 35 1.4 for my Canon camera. Um, but now I shoot with Sony and this is what it looks like it's actually really lightweight compared to my 35 <laughs> that i have now it's like a big boy oh my gosh 
This is so exciting. I'm such a geek for this kind of stuff. I love anything technology, photography wise, like anything like that. Ah! I'm so hyped about this. Okay, should we test it out? I'm also not sure how much I'm gonna actually wanna use this lens tonight because they're thinking I'm shooting inside like a space and I'm not sure how much space I have like to back up. And an 85 is pretty like tight and close up, but I'm very excited. So I'm gonna pop this on my camera really quick and see what it looks like. Here's a tester. Sorry about how messy it is, but this is the Tamron 17 to 28 millimeter. I'm currently on 17 millimeters right now and I'm gonna change the lens and we'll see like what the difference is. So since it is at that 1.4, you can see it's like so blurred and it's obviously so close up to my face. Can show off the new teeth. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have to stand a lot farther back because it's like a really close up lens. But I'm very excited to... What is with this autofocus? Or maybe I can't focus that close. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Okay, very excited for this lens. Can't wait to use it tonight. And I'm about to pop some pain meds because these teeth are really pissing me off. Just posted my vlog and now I'm packing up my camera bag. I'm really excited for this engagement shoot because like I said, I'm going to be using flash. It is kind of outside of my comfort zone, even though like I can do it. And I used to shoot like a lot of sorority events where I would need flash and they were so fun and I loved editing those photos. So I have a good feeling about the shoot, but I'm going to change my lens. So I'll probably try to vlog a couple clips on my phone. Our last time going to Starbucks. Two weeks. <laughs> yes, until two weeks when he comes back. Babe, you're not even coming back in two weeks. I think I'm going home. <gasps> you wouldn't dare. Thank you. Oh my god, I haven't had this in so long. I'll miss you. Say it back. <laughs> I feel like this morning was so chaotic. Like, I thought we would have ample amount of time to have our last Starbucks date in Mueller. But honestly, when we got our coffee and breakfast sandwiches, I was like, I'm sorry, like, <laughs> we need to go home because I was getting so stressed out because I didn't really know exactly what I was going to wear. I had to, like, pack up my camera bag and everything like that because at 10 a.m., which it is 10 a.m. right now, I am having a shoot at literally one of my favorite studios that I seem to be always shooting out which i don't mind i love a studio and i love shooting in studios especially in the summer because i don't have to sweat my client doesn't have to sweat and obviously the lighting is just really really good in a studio um and we can do it in the middle of the day because like if you are shooting in the middle of the day outside like the shadows are so bad because the sun is just directly on your face so you can really shoot in a studio at any time but I am doing this shoot for a friend that is kind of like starting up her floral business. She has had um, a picnic uh, like setup business. I can't remember what they're really called, but basically where she comes and sets up really, really cute picnics. It's called Moment in Time, and now she's kind of getting into the floral space. So I told her I would do her branding photos for free because I personally really want to get more into branding photos and kind of just get more clients under my belt. So the more I put out on my photography page, obviously people are gonna be like, oh, she has branding photos, so I'll hire her. So we are gonna do that today. And then I asked her to take a couple photos of me with just like my camera, with my new teeth, and um, just to like have for social media and stuff. So that is what we're doing today. And apparently it's supposed to rain like a lot tonight, which I can't even imagine because it's so blue and nice out today and so sunny. So I'm like really confused. I do have an event to go to tonight and it's like kind of like a pool party thing. So I'm like, is that gonna get canceled if it rains? I might email the brand and just kind of 
see what's going on there. Just like that, we're back like we never left, especially if you watched my last week's vlog. We shot here last week and I'm shooting here again on Saturday, which I'm really excited about because I'm doing like a team shoot for this event planner person that's done like events for Champagne and Chanel, which is like a huge blogger, like OG blogger, and she lives in Austin. So very, very excited to meet her and shoot her team. And we're doing it in this gorgeous space. I'll give you guys another tour. I'll make it quick this time because I feel like I've probably done this about three times already. Okay, so there's so many little stations, which is perfect because I feel like this will be really cute for, you know, her floral pictures. And then there's like a desk set up. I really like this little table over here. Oh, and their fitting room. Very cute, very girly. We have some backdrops right here. Hello. Are you so excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> I was like freaking out. Oh my God, your teeth look so good. Thanks. Um, <laughs> your makeup I, looks good. Thank you, I've been sweating. Did you do it? Now. Yeah. Oh my God, it looks really um, good. Are okay. the falsies too much? I feel no. like they'll kind of dumb down. In the but I feel like, are they, this one's fucked up. I like, I gotta fix them. Okay. I'm, okay. gonna, I'm gonna do like a little refresh. Okay, okay. We're resuming. So anyways, this wall can come out and you can shoot in this right corner, which I love doing that. And then this is kind of new, but those disco balls are so cute. We might have to play with them this time because last time I wanted to do something with them, but we didn't get enough time to. And then this corner. And then there's like a hole outside, which is amazing. Ooh. <laughs> so fun. Where do you think is like Maybe a like, place that we're not gonna... Oh, not going to? That corner, probably. Thank you. So, I'm so excited. Thank you. Yay! So <laughs> okay, so this is the outside. It's a little bit hot out here, but she has like so many fans, which is amazing. She really, literally thought about everything. Okay, here's the setup when we got even more over there. But holy crap, I just saw this flower right here. What the heck is that? This flower is everything and more. It's stunning. This one looks very expensive, so it probably is. Florals are no joke, guys. Wait, okay, wait, what is this flower right here? That is a dahlia. It's so pretty. Super expensive. That's a wrap. Angela's over there cleaning the flowers off the bike. Look at all this. It's a mess in here, huh? <laughs> Came home and immediately uploaded the photos from our shoot. I am shook. These are so good. Oh my God. Just sent some selects to a brand and my like concept for the campaign I'm gonna work on with them. Then I got ready for the event I'm going to go to right now. It's kind of like a pool party thing, I think. It's like martinis and bikinis, so I don't know. I put on a swimsuit to be festive and then I put on these really pretty classy looking shorts. I think it looks so good with the swimsuit. And then I added my Dolce Vita like slides because I have not gotten my nails done in oh, so long because I'm trying to let like these nails breathe and I really just need to like repaint them myself but they keep on chipping that makes me so mad so I haven't really gotten my toenails done even though those definitely need to get done I just like haven't really gone anywhere haven't like had anything to get them done for but honestly maybe I'll do that this weekend since Ryan's gonna be gone and I'll be alone and I'll have a lot of time on my hands so maybe I'll treat myself to a pedicure but I actually am living for this outfit and then I'm gonna also bring my noodle bag and I'm tempted to bring my camera because like I wanna vlog the event for you guys. If I get really embarrassed, I might vlog it on my phone, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, getting some mocktails here in Amber. Mocktails. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> um, literally, it's like happening out of nowhere. <laughs> Wait, say hi, Kayla. Okay, this is your event. How are you feeling? Great. Welcome to the Canopy Hotel in Austin. Love it. Beautiful property, opened in 2020, and we're having a little pool party to make some new friends and kind of welcome everyone to Austin. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Love it.
lighting is probably not that great in here, but wanted to do a checkup because it's Ryan's last day here and it just like doesn't feel real. I feel like I say that about a lot of like things happening in my life that are big, like my veneers I said that for and just like my boyfriend moving to a different state for six months. Like it just really doesn't feel real and I feel like am I not like being present? Am I not like living in the moment to feel that it's real or like I don't know, have I been like anticipating it for so long that I don't feel like it's real or like it's not happening. Um, but yeah, Ryan hasn't really even started backing, I don't think. So I'm like, okay, this is, I don't know. It just like doesn't feel real again, like I said. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of like feeling sad because I feel like it's kind of starting to hit me. Um, just cause like thinking about going to these events or just like seeing friends then going to an empty house I feel like that's when I'm gonna feel my loneliness because that's how it was in college I would go to my sorority house have like the best day seeing so many friends and being surrounded by people and then I would go home to my apartment which I lived in with my other friend but she would either be gone or her boyfriend would be over so like basically it was just you know going home alone and I would feel so like lonely because I was just like with so many other people and I think that's gonna be my biggest issue with like this whole living alone thing is that I need to like be okay with like I don't know like well first of all being alone but also just like coming home and like maybe like being grateful for this time to be alone after I exerted myself with energy talking to so many people um I don't know so that's kind of something I'm worried about because I'm just like I always look forward to seeing Ryan after these things and like debriefing him and telling him everything that happened and just catching up and all of that kind of stuff and obviously he's like a FaceTime call away but it's just not gonna be the same and I don't know ugh I literally hate that we're doing long distance again, but maybe it'll be good. I'm going inside, it's 427. Um, we're getting some sushi dinner tonight for last night. Obviously, we're going to go crazy, and we got a reservation at Soto, which is probably one of our favorite restaurants here in Austin for sushi. Um, and we already made our reservation for Sushi Bar ATX when he comes back here in September. I'm looking forward to that because we were just talking about that at the event with some other girls. They said um, they went to Sushi Bar ATX and Sushi by Scratch, which is kind of similar, but like one's a little bit more expensive and farther away. So I guess she just said like they're very similar. So I was like, good, because I'm going back to Sushi Bar ATX because it was so good. Oh my God, I cannot even imagine. But for now, Soto will do. Quickly changed into this outfit, which is giving me like art teacher vibes, mom vibes. I'm pretty sure this is a scarf I stole from my mom's closet, so maybe that's why. Um, but the skirt is Chopo, shirt is Meshki, scarf my mom's, she's Vici. It's honestly kind of like hard to chew, or like I'm trying to learn how to chew with my teeth. Like it just feels like I'm chewing with Invisalign trays in and it just feels weird and it doesn't make eating enjoyable, which is really sad because I'm at a sushi dinner and I want to enjoy it, but I'm trying to like use my tongue more, I guess. We went to go look at houses to inspire us and <laughs> remind us why why we're doing this. <laughs> why we're doing what? Why we're doing long distance. We are? Yes. <clears throat> Whatever the big April Fool's joke am I actually going? That would be great if it was a joke. I would love for you to stay. Although I've kind of accepted it. <laughs> we came to Lake Austin. Oh, it's rainy. I would have totally sat on the dock. Or like it's wet because it's rain. Oh, ducks. I literally took off my shoes because I wanted to ground myself. Artificial dock. Yes, on this artificial dock. <laughs> Look how pretty though. You said house being built on the hill. Oh yeah, what the heck? 
But it's on fire. Yeah, it does look like it's on fire. <laughs> it's not good. All right, guys. One of these days, manifesting, buying a house <clears throat> on Lake Austin. Not Lake Travis, Lake Austin. I can't see anything. The sun's so bright. But look at all those big houses. I don't even know if you guys can see all the way out there. Summer moon. Last summer moon cheers for a while. Yeah, I'm strong. <laughs> I'm gonna save mine <laughs> for later. I'm not really wanting it right now. Would you like to leave the vlog any with any words? I'll be back soon. Mark my word. <laughs> no word today. It's been about like an hour since he left and I definitely got emotional. I mean, I've been emotional since last night. Honestly, for both of us, it really didn't feel real until last night when he started packing. I don't know, just kind of like in a somber like mood right now. Um, and I'm just trying to distract myself, which I feel like it's gonna be this whole period of like just trying to distract myself and get myself to I don't know be more productive and just like do things so that I don't have to like sit and really like think and I don't know there's this whole issue with like being with my own thoughts but I know we'll have to like process that or just be okay with that and I guess it all comes with time but I just did the laundry I was watching some YouTube and now I'm gonna do some computer work. It is Friday, so I still have some work to do. Also, I realized this this morning, I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like there's like a bruise here, which I didn't notice that like the first couple of days having the like temp veneers in. So I wonder if that's like from like the needle or something from the numbing stuff, but that's very interesting. It just like looks like weirdly discolored green kind of. Um, and this morning they're still feeling a little bit tight so not as bad as as they did like the first few days or like the first day but you know still feeling a little bit uncomfortable definitely doesn't feel like normal you know but i'm gonna go in for my follow-up on wednesday it's also a rainy day here in austin which apparently the whole next week is going to be rainy which is so weird for austin because i feel like it never rains here so that's kind of weird. I was telling Ryan, Austin is raining because you're going. But I'm gonna get to work. I have a lot of um, DMs on my photography page to answer to about grad photos and all of that stuff. Just wanna do a little check-in. I feel like today I'm really not gonna vlog that much because like I said, it's a rainy day. I'm just like chilling right now. And I was thinking of like making plans tonight with friends to kind of distract me, but I feel like I want a day to like kind of take it in and be alone and just kind of like, I don't know, just take it in, I guess. <laughs> the words are not coming out of my mouth today, as you can see, but um, I've just been sitting here all day and I got some work done. I'm still editing some galleries and I'm just really excited about all the shoots recently I did. And I got to use my new lens on um, two of the shoots so far and it's so good. Like, why did I not buy this sooner? I'm so mad at myself. It just kind of like reignites my like passion for photography when I get new equipment and stuff. I was just on FaceTime with my mom and I was telling her like, I don't even know what to eat for dinner now. Like I don't, have someone else that's like, oh, we should get food or like 
what's for dinner, you know, like thinking of making me think about what I'm going to eat. Um, but she said like, maybe you should just clean out your freezer, fridge kind of thing. Like if you have like frozen food, eat that. And then she also recommended me to do like HelloFresh, which I was like, damn, I never thought about that. So I might do HelloFresh or maybe I'll like look into some of those. If you guys have tried like all of the little meal kit things, which one is the best one to do? And then maybe I can just do a trial and see if it's like a good thing to do. I do really like like trying out TikTok recipes and stuff like that. So maybe I can do like a HelloFresh kind of thing like three times a week and then have the other days to like kind of just mess around in the kitchen if I want to. Um, but I thought that was a really good idea. So I might actually do that because that sounds like smart and just like more affordable maybe because it's like pre-portioned and you don't have to like go buy all this stuff especially if i'm going to be cooking for one person then i'm going to have like so much leftovers and stuff i was literally thinking like i was eating cornbread the other day and i was like i love making chilean cornbread but when i do i have so much leftover and um so i was telling my friends that they need to come over so they can eat the chilean cornbread or i can maybe look into like meals for one i wonder if there's like a blog for that like just like the portion size of a meal for one. Took a little body shower, covered myself in moisturizer. Now it's time to find something to eat. It's about like six. And I was thinking I should check up there because I'm kind of craving soup right now. And I know I have some soup. It might be like really kitty soup, but honestly that kind of sounds really good right now. some good options so we have chicken noodle soup also i'm really sad because ryan's mom gave me this for christmas she was like what do you want for christmas and i was like i don't even know but i guess like i've never really tried these trough sauces but it already expired i'm so mad we opened one and used it but i think it came in like a pack or something um and i'm really sad because i didn't get to use the second one i just don't realize like that food like this actually expires because it says refrigerate after opening, so like I think that it's like good to go for forever, almost like a soup. Maybe I should check if this has an expiration date. This does too, holy shit, wait. I thought soups are like made to, this one does too? Are you, okay, I guess this is like our only option. I'm kind of shook now. I thought like we buy soups to keep around in case like the world ends and you need a soup to eat. I'm, I'm very confused, but all right, um, should I do this or ramen? Because I have ramen. I already do this kind of a lot, but I always text my mom the randomest questions. And I feel like there will be definitely more of an influx of questions because Ryan's not like here to answer my random questions. But she said, it's okay if it's sealed, I'm sure it'll be fine. So, because I really wanted this one. <laughs> it's a tomato and sweet basil bisque and it expires. April 29th, 2022. Do I risk it for the biscuit? Oh wait, do I risk it for the bisque? <laughs> Another update, I just Googled it and it says, yes, you can eat canned foods that have expired because the expiration date is not an expiration date at all, but simply just a best buy or sell by date, which like, wouldn't that be kind of like same, same, same? I don't know, I don't get it. 